What's up, you money makers and Molin shareholders? Welcome back to the channel. This is my daily update from Molin. Not such a great news today. Molin went below $1 price point. Not only that, we did not really touch the previously closed price point of $1.07, not 107, not 106, not 105. The today's range was 93 cents as low as we went to 93 cents. We closed around the lower price point and the highest was $1.04. Today, all in all, we're down 11.20%. With that, five days, we are down 25%. Give or take one month, we are down 60%. What a massive run down in Molin. What you want to understand is Molin just reported that the stock has met $1 minimum bid price rule requirement. We did not really hear back from Nasdaq yet. But most of the time, Nasdaq's computer algorithm triggers, this is automated trigger whether a stock met 10 day minimum bid price rule requirement in 10 consecutive um, days. And Molin reported this, but what you need to understand moving forward is we are still getting hammered hard by the short sellers. They are moving forward with a lot of strength. I do not really have a data for the short volume ratio today. I will go ahead and refresh real quick and we see, we do not really see any other data for the 22nd of May, but the latest data that we see, and I covered in my previous video as well, but for your reference here, 52.03% on 19th of May, before that 55%, 56%, 53%. So it is not slowing down. The short sellers are not slowing down. And what, in addition to what we saw as well, was one of uh, one of the short selling lists that Molin is, was on the short sell restriction list on uh, last week. And, and we already talked about what it means. The news that the company trips short sell circuit breaker today hasn't resulted in any optic yet. And Molin has been have been so hard. Take a look, 66 months, 81%. Now, as a Molin shareholder, what you need to confirm or what are the catalysts for Molin? So here I am going to share this information with you. Hit the like button if you can, subscribe to the channel and don't miss out on many time sensitive updates. Not only for Molin, we talk about TRKA, HCMC, HCWC uplisting is coming up as well on NYSC. So we talk about uh, about that as well. Um, and of course, Molin. Molin share fall below $1. Molin stock just can't seem to stay above $1. There is a ton of FUD going on. There is a lot of high expectations from Molin as well. We know that Lawrence talked about Saudi deal and we did not hear back from uh, Molin or Lawrence as to what's going on with Saudi. If you believe that Saudi deal is still going to happen um, or if you know any additional information you can write down in the comment section below I'll do more research and analysis Molin automotive stock fallen below one dollar again now that was the whole point why we did 21 to 25 reverse stock split by Molin did 1 to 25 reverse stock split take a look right here I'm going to go on historical data and you should be able to see on May the 4th Molin was technically $2.25 and we are still in May we haven't finished the month of May and we are down below $1 so it is it is looking pretty red in Molin now we saw that after that 1 to 25 reverse stock split, we were above $1 for 10 or 11 consecutive day and we dropped below $1. We still did not get the confirmation from Nasdaq in terms of the compliance. And remember why Nasdaq does this because they want really to make sure that the stocks trade above $1 price point. And one of the way the stock can accomplish that is using the reverse stock split. The company had recently traded about $1 for 10 consecutive business days, I already um, shared this particular article with you that Molin announced that on just the 19th of May on Friday that Molin reported stock met the $1 bid price rule requirement. What happened there is if you are not familiar with Molin was their 10 consecutive day, a key guideline that the uh, Nasdaq had for the trading requirements. In September 2022, the company was notified by Nasdaq that it has common stock no longer met the minimum bid price rule requirement of $1 per share. Consequent, uh, consequently, the company was given 180 days to regain the compliance. It did not happen. After that, it was extended for 180 days more. And they had to meet the minimum bid price rule requirement, which they started with the reverse stock split. Effective May 4, 2023. As a result, Molin Common Stock has started, had started trading about $1 for 10 consecutive business days. But guess what? 
we are back to below one dollar price point now what it means is it is down 85 percent year to date we know that year to date it is more than 85 percent down let me go ahead and share that with you 88 percent down so not looking there is a lot of fud as well into the market right like fear uncertainty and doubt fundamentally the company did not really do anything wrong yes it's a ev company yes it's a very innovative situation and their cash burning we know that they burn about more than 60 million dollars in q1 they have more cash coming in as we know and i'll tell you the one of the bigger catalysts that is coming up in june but before that let's uh, read a little bit here because this is pretty pretty good read following a recent 1 for 25 rear stock split the price of molen automotive appeared to regain nasdaq's one dollar minimum bid price rule requirement the company echoed the press release i told i shared with you stating molen stock had traded about one dollar on may 4. now think about it why molen did 1 to 25 and not more because they knew that there will be heavy short selling so if they if they have done 1 to 50 that means the price point would be much much more than one dollar and 46 cents it'll be more like three to four dollars price range but then if you get hit hard by the short sellers which means if you cut down your price point by 50 percent that is going to not do the justice for the shareholder right so that's why molen did what they did and they were playing extremely safe with molen on may 17th for 10 consecutive business days it also stated that they're awaiting for the confirmation from the exchange how if ever the announcement that the Molen will have to wait till June 12th to, to receive $45 million funding that they have secured already that they're raising the money from an existing securities purchase agreement or you can call it SPA or SPA seems to have been shareholder worried because Molen stock fell below $1 once again just a few days after its press release. Share of Molen fallen by 97% during the intraday trading 97 0.1 cent it is not real it is 93 cents let's take a look right here that's the lowest price point and we fall below this 95 cents that we are seeing at the closing price point i'll go ahead and refresh it is already refreshed but take a look 93.11 we saw the volume was pretty high 62.1 million but my hunch is there is a huge short selling volume we do not really have data it's just a one hour after the market closed and i didn't want to wait till the last minute so i'm posting this video but i'll share more information tomorrow as to what happened today but 62.1 million pretty high short, high volume with that we see the high short volume as well every single time it went higher in terms of the volume we saw the uptick in the volume that is short selling as well take a look right here 34 million what we saw was more than 50 percent which means more than 17 percent or more than 17 million shares are shorted on 19 on the friday so there is always a risk um in terms of every single time we have higher volume the higher volume we see on the on on the regular trading volume we see the higher short volume as well Molen shares fall below one dollar what happened nasdaq will send Molen deficiency notice if the closing price of Molen stays below one dollar for 30 consecutive business days if in fact it regained the compliance um from may 4th to may 17th as of may 4th Molen has not yet closed the below one dollar a deficiency notice would provide Molen with 180 day calendar day period to regain the compliance regaining compliance is generally defined as having closing price point of one dollar or more for 10 consecutive business days if Molen stock fails to trade about one for one dollar for 10 consecutive business days during the 180 day compliance period it'll still be eligible for another 180 day extension period which Molen did get previously as well a company listed in the nasdaq capital market may be eligible for an additional 180 day compliance period if it meets the market value of publicly traded or held shares requirement for continued listing all other initial inclusion requirement for the capital market except for the bid price requirement and providing written notice that it intends to regain compliance with the bid price requirement on the second 180 day compliance period by effecting the reverse stock split if necessary right so that is per nasdaq that we already looked into it now there is more into the mix because we really want to see whether molen can add more revenue into their pipeline or not so mark your calendar day june 12th based on this particular article that i'm going to share with you by the way remember i'm not a financial advisor nor i'm a certified professional but i do a ton of research analysis and these videos are not for buy or sell advice i'm just here to share um, my research and my analysis and what i have uh, what i've gathered in collected in terms of the information hoping you can make in 
informed financial decision. So do your own due diligence at the end of the day. Don't just random YouTuber let tell you what you need to do or what you should do, but definitely make this channel part of your due diligence. Now, this article was updated. Again, this is just before six hours on Investor Place and why you want to mark this June 12th on your calendar is when Mullen is going to receive $45 million from an existing security purchase agreement. While you see a lot of fear, while you see a lot of uncertainty and doubt in the market, cash is extremely, extremely powerful for Mullen because they are burning cash left and right. It's a cash burning business. We have heard some of the fear and uh, talks about uh, Mullen getting bankruptcy as well. Take a look. Their 10Q reveals how close the bankruptcy might be. And we already talked about this, that uh, this, they, they are op their operating expense is $67.5 million. Um, and they burned that much cash just within a quarter. Now, with that, they have produced zero revenue. The company is not really pre-revenue company at the moment. And there are a lot of... Uh, a lot of fear and a lot of concerns because um, the reliance on debt funding, significant debt to equity conversion, and they are how close to their to bankruptcy because of their cash position. These are all some of the concerns that we have been hearing. The company had previously agreed to issue this reverse or uh, the CD Series D preferred stock, and um, in terms of the exchange for the capital, Molen stock is down 80% year to date, and we really want to make sure that they get this funding that they have been. Uh, that they have been accounting for on, on June 12th. And what it means is the Molen share are in full focus after the electric vehicle company filed 8K as per the current update. The 8K disclosed that Molen will be receiving or Molen's reception of $45 million in connection with the existing securities purchase agreement, SPA, would be pushed for one more month from May 15th through R2, May, from May 15th, to June 12th. Molen had previously agreed to issue Series D preferred stock and warrants to entities in the SPA, such as this company and this another capital company, in exchange for the 90 million US dollars. The Series D preferred stock convertible into common stock and the warrants are equal to 185% of the Series D preferred stock purchased. The 49, $45 million of the 90 million was received on April 17th and we're waiting for another 45 million. Molen did not really provide a reason for the delay, but we don't know. They did not disclose. Other than that, the Molen and each of the buyers in SPA had agreed to delay the issuance of Series D preferred stock and warrants until the Molen receives the $45 million. So another catalyst, June 12th, because if they don't receive this cash on June 12th, it's going to be a very great critical situation for Molen to get the business up and running. And in the meantime, you want to focus on whether Molen is going to get even more short sellers as they drop below $1 price point. That's number one. Number two, whether you believe that Molen can get back up about $1, we need to see a really, really good rally. We need to see a pretty good press release. We need to see some of the expectation setting around the Saudi deal because people are still betting on Saudi deal. Number three, we want to also make sure that Molen shares that how much expense that they're expecting in next three to six months, how much cash do they have, what they're doing in terms of the cash to make sure that they have the operational expense, the operations covered, what they're doing in terms of research and development because they're spending millions and millions of dollars. With all that, we all need to know this and Furthermore, we need to hear back from Nasdaq. What's Nasdaq's compliance process for the companies falling to meet $1 minimum price but drew requirement, whether they will consider that Molen already is trading about $1 because they already did between more May 4th and May the 14th-ish. So write down all this in the comment section below. If you have any other further questions, write down in the comment section below as well. Until that time, we already know that Molen is also expecting to be participating into this particular um, event or the expo that is coming up Molen's first commercial event to drive or drive event ride and drive on May 27th which is today 10 a.m. to 12 30 p.m. we don't really have any further news from Molen at least on the Twitter handle I'll keep you posted with that I just wanted to ask you to hit the like button subscribe to the channel I hope you like this video I hope you enjoyed this information and when you need that the most by the way so hit the like hit the subscribe I'll see you in the next video thanks for watching